my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firm, Norm Zag, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you, talk about doing something totally different than we usually do. We're out on the trawler on Lake Winnebago today called the Calumet. And when I was a young man, I actually had the opportunity to work on this for two summers in a row. So very excited to be out here. Hey, and we're with Adam Nichols. Adam, you know what? Thanks for inviting us and letting us come out and do some of the surveying. Tell us what we're actually gonna be doing today. Well, we're going to be doing part of our annual drawing assessment. Um, every year we do it the first week of August, September, and October. Uh, we've been doing a survey since 1986, so it's really good to look at historical trends. It's probably one of our most important surveys we have um, out on the lake. It gives us a real good advantage point of what's going on with the forage fish and the game fish, uh, specifically young of the year. You know, when you're at, when you're in charge of the largest inland system in the state here, Lake Winnebago, really, you really got to monitor things because there's a lot of pressure on this body of water. So you want to make sure that things are correct. Yep. And that's that's yep. doing the surveys like this is a very important part of, of a managing a system. Yep, it gives us a really good idea of what's going on uh, from a walleye standpoint, from a panfish standpoint, and it gives us information to get back to the anglers. A lot of times we're asked, what are the chad like? What's the trawl perch like? We can actually answer those questions with this survey. So uh, different gear than usual, smaller inland lakes, um, definitely a specialized survey tool. So it should be, should be a good day to see what we get. And you know, Winnebago system is, in your mind and mine, a very unique body of water. Yeah, you never know what it's gonna throw at you. Every year it's different. Um, a lot of different species to see. And, like I said, it changes every year. Just when you think you got to figure it out from a you know biological side and angling side, for sure, it throws you a curveball. So. And that's what really makes it a very interesting and fun system to fish and for you to, to manage. You yep. guys to manage this system. Yep, uh, fun and challenging, but it all comes from the same. Yeah. Right. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today out on the Calumet on Lake Winnebago. These are young of the year trout perch. Uh, these are one of the most common forage fish in the system, particularly at Lake Winnebago. A lot of people never even see them, but these are your big, uh, you know, forage items for walleye and yearling walleye and even smaller panfish as well. Uh, these are young of the year drum here. Um, although drum get a bad rap or sheephead as many call them, these are perfect forage right now for walleyes and other fish as well. So they do provide a really good staple forage base as well. Um, as far as that, there's a young deer shad right here. So this shad is from this year. Uh, we're seeing a few of those, but not, not very many uh, overall. Uh, 
this is our yearling walleye, so we had a strong 2016 year class. Uh, 10.3 inches already, not bad for, for a yearling. Um, looks like uh, a lot of fish for the future, the way it's looking. Uh, this is a yearling perch. Uh, we're seeing quite a few yearlings uh, from last year. Uh, they're ranging seven, uh, some eight inches. Uh, anglers are catching quite a few of them, hopefully waiting until uh, we see some bigger fish next year. Next year, this fish should be, you know, nine to 10 inches. A uh, sauger, probably from the 2015 year class. Um, we've seen a few of those. There's sauger in the lake naturally. We pull off some natural year classes, but um, not as many as years before. So always nice to see them in surveys. Uh, if you look in the net here, you kind of see some of the some of the panfish we're seeing. Those crappies are yearling crappies from last year. Uh, they're hitting six to eight inches, and then. Uh, a couple of those perch are yearlings, and this one here is actually a, not a bad perch, starting to get some length on it. Okay, uh, it's a pit tag reader, so we're, in the spring we take sturgeon with these little pit tags here. It's basically like a micro trip, kind of like what you would put in dogs for GPS. Um, and basically it's got an ID on it for each fish, so we can figure out where we capture it, where where we tag it, where it's moved, and so on. Hey, I'll tell you what, Adam, very interesting morning going out on the trawler and pulling in the nets like that. Tell me what you thought because, you know, obviously we're just spectators and we had a lot of fun helping you, but what did you think about the trawl as far as the survey is concerned? Um, well, I'd say for the 2017 season so far, we've kind of seen a few things. Uh, we've seen a bounce back of trawl perch numbers, young year trawl perch, uh, which are one of the staple forage items for walleye and other fish as well. So, okay. Um, good amount of trawl perch. I know today we had a thousand in that one trawl. That, that was very there, impressive. So. Um, we've also seen uh, a lot of yearling walleye. Um, anglers right now are catching a lot of walleye, 10 to 12 inches, which, which are, there, are those yearlings from 2016. So um, good to see some new fish coming there. Uh, we're seeing a few young of the year walleye from this year. Not a strong year class, but a weak one. Um, at least a measurable year class. Okay. Um, and a lot of yearling perch and, and crappies that we've seen today. So basically what you're saying to simplify all this is that the future looks very good for the system, not just for walleyes, but for panfish too. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, the perch and crappies were six to eight inches, and you know, by this time next year, they're probably going to be pushing, you know, nine inches or so. So, well, that's awesome. Um, good, good fish coming for the future, hopefully. Hey, and I'll tell you what you were saying on the way out here is that you know you wouldn't be able to do these projects if you didn't have volunteers to help do these things. Like today, you know, with Stacy and Emily, and we had Don and John. So, I mean, that's a lot of this stuff in, you know, the clubs like Walleyes for Tomorrow. A lot of these things happen because of people donating their time and money. Yep, yep. Uh, last year alone, we had 400 volunteer hours just put into this survey alone. So, Holy cats. Um, as you've seen today, oftentimes our crew is, is more dominated by volunteers than DNR staff themselves. So, um, a lot of volunteers for the help, and uh, we thank them always. And... Um, some of them come back, others do not. Just <laughs> kind of depends on uh, how many fish you want to count in a day. So. Right. Hey, you know what? It all works, and I'll tell you what. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens on the rest of our episode here on Larry Smith Outdoors. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fish ability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com. 
or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Hey, I'll tell you what, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today, we are up on Yellow Lake and we're fishing with Kent Anderson from Warrior. Hey, I'll tell you what, Kent, I've been really looking forward to this bite to try to redeem myself from last year. You know what, there was a little problem with a netting issue that I've heard about all year. So at least I figured maybe today I would just more or less net your fish for you and kind of redeem myself and score some points back. I don't know, we got to leave. I think Lee can run the net. Right. Oh, well, you tell everybody, hey, we've got Lee from Wave Pro fishing with us today, too. It, so you brought Lee just for a backup for netting? That was the only reason you brought him? Netting and to help get some more fish in the boat, because if I remember right, I think he got one. Boy, I don't know. We're going to have to go back and look at that footage. I thought it was pretty much even on the whole thing there, right? <laughs> uh, not even close. <laughs> it wasn't, huh? Hey, so. Tell everybody what we're actually doing up here today. This is, I've never fished this before. I've always wanted to fish this. The only thing I've ever heard about Yellow Lake, this system here, is about sturgeon. It's a, a sturgeon fishery too that they have opened up. Yeah, sturgeon, walleyes, muskies, um, good pan fishing too. We're gonna be targeting walleyes today, you know, fall transition time. We're looking at deeper breaks next to deep water uh, with feeding shelves up on top and we're gonna give uh, multiple tactics at it. We're gonna do some live bait fishing, jig fishing, and uh, probably some jig wrapping, and might even throw some lead core trolling in today. Holy cow, so we're gonna really be doing some versatile stuff here. Yeah, huh? maybe, maybe we won't take all, all those tactics. Maybe we'll figure something out real quick and put a put a clinic on them. Well, that sounds like fun. Hey, we got Lee from Waypro. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lee, I ran your stuff all year here. Boy, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of happy clients with that smooth ride with the Wave Pro. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your product? Um, basically, we took a Fox shock, a hydraulic air shock, and it's very versatile with the different air pressures for your ride weight and height. So, um, <laughs> they're fantastic. They are, I'll tell you that. If you're looking at uh, getting some shock system, for your seats and your boat, I'll tell you what, check them out for sure. But otherwise, I'll tell you, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here on Yellow Lake. What? What? That thing is just talking to us. It was. What is the deal with that? How do you get that to do it again? Is he in there? What's the world coming to? The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all-purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. 
The new Chevy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go Ninja with the Jiffy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Badger Sportsman Magazine is the longest running outdoor magazine in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman provides you with the best information from local Wisconsin guides and professionals so you can be successful in the outdoors. Whether you're in a boat or a tree stand, Badger Sportsman Magazine is the new go-to for information on duck hunting, deer hunting, hard and soft water fishing, and more. Enjoy our product reviews, quick tips, and all of our articles on our website today. Good chef here in the kitchen on November 4th though I will be at Woodman's in Waukesha at 1600 Main Street from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock November 4th I have ribs bacon and we're gonna have fun look at me in the meat department everybody I guess there's coupons to give away for the food the products I'm demoing from 10 to 2 November 4th come on down shotgun chef is at Woodman's giving it away Hey, Shotgun Steve Schaefer, guess what time of year it is? Happy Halloween! And I guess it's the freak of nature, it's Halloween. Check out Wait, the schnoz on the shelf. You can't recognize me, I'm not the freak of nature, I'm a witch. All right, enough of your stuff. Okay. What we're making today, look at folks, she carved out a pumpkin. We're going to take the guacamole, <laughs> put it front like he's throwing up. We're putting salsa on top. She's got a bunch of her freak of nature friends coming over. We are making guac. How do you make guac? Uh, you... Guacamole. Okay, so you're going to take... Here's the thing, you can't sit and talk forever. Just tell them how we make <gasps> it. Okay, you can take avocados, you roll them. No, you don't roll them, that's limes. Yes, take, you do. Take, no, you do too, you just, uh, take this, yes, go like this, do. right? Yes, and then you chop it and take the seed oh, out of it. Oh, the seed middle. fell out already. Yep. Oh, isn't okay. that awesome? Then you're going to take your little squishy thing and... Shotgun don't mess... Uh, oh, yes. Shotgun don't mess around. You buys the ones okay. that come right out of here. Mm. And then you're going to take um, potato masher. And what about the sour cream? Or the cream yeah, cheese? Yeah, you can put that on. After. No, you put it in now. So you mix it all up. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah. Here's the boss of the kitchen. We have our friend Chester right here. He's Wait, what does he say? Helping us on Halloween. What? See, he gives me energy. Ghostbusters! Yes. Yes. Ghostbusters! Okay, now that that's basically my action. That thing's annoying. He loves you, Daddy. Chester loves you. Okay. Now we're going to take... Chester has just left the building. <laughs> you're going to take your lime and squish him. Smith, you're not paying Get out enough. your anger. Now that If it's... you guys don't know the, sh the shotgun, he likes it hot. Oh, a little serracho. Guys, and if you were wondering, yes, it does match my hair. My hair is green, and this is green, so kindergarten teachers, thank you. There's so, your brains for the you. brains right there. Then, See these handwriting? That's uh, the way special sauce. No, you don't leave a bowl like that. You dump it out. It's got to look like this pumpkin. Ew. Here, then, here. Grab a different bowl. Less Smaller. yapping. No, like this. Less yapping. Hold on. Chester wants a taste. How does he dance? You got to press his arm. Yes! Ghostbusters! From the shotgun kitchen. Here with you the... go. Yes, yes, yes. Mmm, Ghostbusters! I'm going to try to say out of here, Happy Halloween from Larry Smith Outdoors Shotgun Kitchen. <laughs> How the hell do I do it? Uh oh, I might be in your line. I think here. I got Larry's line. God dang it! That's no, all, you can't say that's my fault. That's how Larry tries to. Oh, always get I up. I loosened my line up. He was all set the hook on the fit. Oh. Hey, Kent, I'll tell you what, this better not be a repeat of last year. And as long as you want me to net him, too. I don't know if we're here to let you net him. All right? Oh. 
<laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I know how to play this game, right? I'll tell you what. It's nice. Probably 17 incher. No, what is the link limit on this lake? Uh, 15 inch minimum. Okay. A 15 inch minimum with a. I guess work works trying to call. 15 inch minimum on the lake. Yep. And 20 to 24 is protected, and you get one over 24 wow. inches. But I tell you what, for a frying pan, That's you don't get much better right than there. this. Glad I'm not in that, Lee. Looks like a good fish. Now you've got just the jig on there. We won't let Larry take the net. Well, that looks like a better fish. You've had more bites of. Woo! Nice fish, Lee. Hey, I'll tell you what, huh? Kent. I might want a jig here real soon. That's fine. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what, Lee. That is definitely a nice fish. And that's uh, about the third bite you've had already this morning on that jig. Yeah, it was the third one. It just took three times to get it done. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. All right, well, let's let that one go and see if we can get another big one. Ooh, fish on. Okay, I'm gonna set my pole down this time. I'll net it, Lee, don't worry. Yeah, I got the net right. for him. This could be scary. You can scary. knock it off, no problem. Right. What do you mean scary? I missed one fit, or I didn't even try to net it. One you fish are, you a good shot Oh, that's, you can't, water. I'm not nutting that. <laughs> There's one that comes. See, now these ones will stay stuck, Larry. Let's right. Get them. Here, I'll help you out. He'd rather flip them than have you net them. That's getting bad. I know it. That's the way he is. I know it. Is he a secret? He didn't even tell me, did he? What? No, he didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't tell you because I know you would have moved the boat on me. I know how you work, Kent Anderson. I know. <laughs> but he didn't hook him by much. I didn't, but I got him. The wind could just pick up just a little more. Right. Fun. Nice fish, netting fish. Eh, no. Not a netter? Flipper. About the same as what they've been. Yeah. Well, it's a fish. Yeah. It's a fun way to catch them, though. That's a nice fish. Good eater. Now, that one's really got, oh, that one's not out that deep. No. And I gave him quite a bit of line, but you got to take this into consideration. That's a pretty big minnow. Now, the hook is on his bottom jaw. What does that mean? It's just that with the way the minnow was probably in his mouth. Positioned, OK. Just the jig in the middle. Right there? Same spot, huh? That's a decent fish. Yeah. Decent oh, fish. fish. No, I'm not missing your fish at all. Yeah, you see that net job, Lee? That was a professional net job. Feeding them, huh? Huh? I see you let that line loose. Yeah. Ooh, I got one going too. Nice job. Thank you, job. Lee. That was a Score. great well net job. Well, you're holding yours close. Yeah, right. No, that's fun. Yeah. Good deal. Nice double, 18, 19 incher. Boy, they got great color and great yeah. build to them too. Yeah. Gotta like that. Hey, are we having a fish fry tonight? We're gonna have a fish fry. I love a fish fry. Larry's got to clean them, though. I'll clean them. No problem there. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. Vexilol. 
always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexilar.com. Like a good one, Kent. This could be free payment. Yeah, this could be. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Thanks, buddy. Hey. <laughs> that is how you net them. <laughs> it is. That's how I thought I netted them. Oh, yeah. I guess. Woo! Gotta love it. That is absolutely. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. That was. You said let's go back and fish the big fish spot. This is where Lee caught that big one this morning. And I'll tell you what. That absolutely, that it. fish ate it. Look at that T-bone. That is absolutely gorgeous fish. I like holding other people's fish. <laughs> I don't mind it one bit as long as I get to pull them in. There she goes. Here, girl. Nice. Hey, Kent, I gotta tell you something. I think I got a new favorite lake. What an amazing fishery very quiet lake and just a, I'm a structure fisherman I learned a lot from you today and had a great time yes, you know it was awesome and Lee definitely caught the biggest fish of the day for sure yep. hey and again Lee if people want to check out wave pro tell them how they can do it get a hold of us, of us at waveproshock.com sounds easy enough and I'll tell you what like I always say what a great day to be alive Hey, what hey. are you doing? Hey, I thought you were helping them guys get the boat ready well, over I, there. I can smell something cooking. You know, we haven't eaten all day. Hey, I seen, I seen the way you and Lee and Kent eat. Are you kidding me? Hey, Kent, hey, 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 he's hey, holding out hey, on us. Hey, 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 hey. Don't call them guys. They probably, they're not even hungry, probably. <laughs>